Ah, is this thing on? Okay. Hello, everybody. Welcome once again to another episode of the Scar Derby stream as well. I, I probably shouldn't say another because tonight is our stream re-debut. So we're trying out, you know, a lot of different things. You can already see that the old Derby Lair looks a little different. We have completely and totally integrated ourselves into a comic book for your entertainment. So that's pretty cool. You know, at least I've got that going for me, which is nice. And, um, well, tonight we're going to be playing, well, we're going to be playing Animal Crossing. So this is my first go at the new version 2.0 update. So, um, this is going to be pretty interesting. I mean, oh, hang on a second. I think uh, my audio is bleeding through. Um, the other, yeah, another thing that I am attempting to do is that I am attempting to stream simultaneously on uh, Twitch, Facebook, and YouTube. So you're able, now able to watch me on the platform of your choice, you know, and so that's pretty awesome. And so, um, because I am now streaming on multiple platforms, I'm, I'm no longer allowed to be a Twitch affiliate, you know, so, but, um, you are still perfectly allowed to figure out, um, I mean, uh, you're still perfectly allowed to, uh, do things like send me donations using your platform of choice, you know, I'll still get them, they're all linked to Streamlabs, and there is a Streamlabs link uh, and for your assistance on, I believe, each of these channels. But, um, at any rate, uh, it, it seems my frowny face is not working tonight, but that's perfectly all right, because you know what? Tonight is not a night for frowning. Tonight is a night for enjoying, um, some great Nintendo games with your great company. Thank you absolutely, everybody, for tuning in, um... So, this stream is brought to you by Ray's Energy Drink. Type exclamation point Ray's in the chat. I don't know if it's going to work in uh, Facebook or uh, YouTube chats just yet, but, you know, give it a try. We'll watch the wheels come off together. But uh, go ahead and uh, click that in chat. So, um, Ray's Energy Drink, um, you can get 15% off your order at repsports.com if you type in Derby Sent Me at checkout so yeah absolutely you know go and take a look at those so thank you thank you everybody for tuning in let's go ahead and let's light this candle let's venture furtively into the unknown uh let's go ahead and let's start today's playthrough of animal crossing well on on the nintendo switch of course all right so let's see let me just pull up my controller here there we are Oh, I had it. I had it, and then I didn't have it. Um, there we go. Okay. So, let's go ahead and let's get started. Alright, so, you know, uh, I've been on a very lengthy hiatus up until this point, and so, you know, I, and I can't say that I haven't missed you. I can't say that because it's not actually true. You know, I miss you guys a lot, and I miss doing regular streams, but, uh, you know, so thank you absolutely, everybody, for, for tuning in to tonight's very special stream. You know, I am looking furtively forward to providing new content for you. Oh, well, here's Isabel. Good evening, everyone. Right now on Crumpet at 7.16 p.m. on Friday, November 5th, 2021. Now for today's announcements, first I have an ordinance update. I'm happy to announce that special rules called ordinances can now be enacted here on Crumpet. Uh, ordinances are a great way to help improve the everyday lives of all of our residents. They are quite a lot of responsibility, however, and require enacting one should understand everyone's needs. And that's why our resident rep, Derby, will be in charge of ordinances on Crumpet. You know, you're just going to go ahead and you're going to stick me with that. This is my first time hearing about this, Isabel. How exciting, Derby, if you're listening. I can't wait to see what you'll change. If anyone has any questions about ordinances, please come and see me at resident services. 
<laughs> Moving on, I'd like to tell everyone about a new kind of tour available. Starting today, residents can go on a boat tour to uninhabited islands. You can take Boaty McBoatface to go there. These tours are a little different than the ones they offer at the airport. You'll get to board a boat and enjoy the ocean breeze as you make your way to the destination. There are lots of uninhabited islands out there that can only be reached by boat. Rumor has it there are plenty of DIY materials on these islands, and even strange things buried in the ground. St strange things. Unspeakable things. Things the likes of which we will not see again. But, you know, I'm, I'm not going to bring that up for you. Um, just, uh, you know, just pay it no mind. Sounds mysterious, doesn't it? These boat tours are available once a day using miles. Interested residents should head out to the island pier and speak to the boat captain, who is also coincidentally named Buddy McBoface. Today we have a visitor staying at the campsite. Wow, there's a lot going on today. I mean, you know, that's um, comes with the territory. That comes with uh, the 2.0 update. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Alright. I'm excited to get started. I'm excited to meet my new neighbors, set up my new services, and all that good stuff right there. Let's see. Um. Alright. Open up the mailbox. A bunch of letters from Nook Inc. Let's read some of this. Dear Derby, we're pleased to announce that you can now offer an optional service to further expand your store. Stop by Resident Services and learn more, or get to the process of started right away. Harvey, how's island life been treating you? Groovy? Me too. There's a little something that I want to tell you about, though. I'll be waiting here at Harv's Island. This message is for customers who have paid off all their loans. You can now redeem miles for an ABD, letting you access your bank of Nuke account whenever you like. Um, this is for customers who expanded their home storage. You can now redeem miles for a storage shed DIY recipe. Okay. We're happy to announce that all fees for relocating or changing the exterior of your home have been reduced. Visit the Construction Consultation Center in Resident Services for more details. Alright. So, it's been a while since I've been on my island, so um, I guess I can give you guys a two-cent tour. Alright, so, where do we start here? So, this is my house. And of course, you know, I have Victorian furniture all in my living room. You know, Victorian style bed, uh, phonographs, books, a Franklin stove here on the side, and um, also uh, a vanity, which I can use to change my look. And um, I have a typewriter and I also have a cartoonist here on my vintage table. And my vintage chair. Ooh, Jeremiah came over. So this is one of the new features, is that I can actually have people spontaneously walk up and visit me. So now we're going to have to pay a little company. Uh, but I caught you by surprise, didn't I, Knee Deep? Uh, I just, you know, uh, suddenly really felt like se uh, seeing you, hun. He calls me hun. And he's in a dress at the moment. You know, we we like our frogs. It it does not matter which gender they represent. And so here's the rest of my um, house. This is my uh, say this is my vanity, and this is my ship on a bottle, and um, I also have a light globe. It's gotta turn it on right now. Do you get a lot of use out of your plasma ball? Everyone has their thing. For me, it's screwed spinach, and for you, it's your plasma ball, knee deep. Alright, so my grandfather clock and my writing desk with a Super Smash Brothers invitation on it. I have uh, sadly never, you know, got an opportunity to take part in Super Smash Brothers, but there you go. 
And uh, so, that's my living room. Let's go and let's take a look. Let's take a look at uh, my office. So here in my office, you know, I've got things. I've got the server floor wallpaper and I've got like four servers. Um, I have my very own drink machine. Um, I have a briefcase full of money. I have my Nintendo Switch and I have my exercise Nintendo Switch ring here. Feeling the burn. My record player and records and my DIY table, which is the pre-manufactured DIY table that comes from the store. Um, I have a security system and, uh, and I also have an overhead camera. Um, and so I have the ability to get into this gap. That was something that I wasn't able to do until tonight's update. So, um, so I got my laptop and I've got my uh, fax machine. And I just have a desk that is also a bunk bed and just has some custom bedding on it. So and that's my office. I'm pretty sure I still got a frog in my living room, but um, I'm not supposed to pay too much attention to that. All right. Well, I've been here for a long old while. I guess I'll head home now that I've spelled all the rooms real good. All right, so long. I had lots of fun. Man, time flies, huh? Feels like we've been playing for two or three years. Well, it could have been close to two years that I had my, uh, that I had my game turned off. But I'm not going to let him in, in on that. He, he has a very loose grasp on the concept of time. Alright. So what else do we got here? So this is my bathroom. Um, I have a bed in my bathroom. Just because it matches with all of the other uh, pieces of uh, wicker furniture that I have. I have a fancy automatic toilet. And I've got a wastebasket. And uh, I've got a standing shower, which I can't get into. And I have a vanity, but uh, strangely, this vanity only turns water on and off. I can't use it to change my look, so it's good that I have the one in the living room. And so there's a magazine, because you, you need a magazine in your bathroom. You always need a magazine in your bathroom. Um, a towel rack. Um, I've got a radiator. And um, let's see. Yeah, this is my seat... This is my little seating area. I've got a lamp. I can turn that on and off. And I can also turn the house lights on and off. But you know that. That's really just ordinary. That's common knowledge. Okay, let's head into my upper room here. Okay. Oh, what was I in the middle of doing? Oh, yeah. Okay. So I took a moment in order to check the multi-stream, and so that's really just going to close... That's just going to occupy some of my time tonight, because I'm just testing everything out right now. All right, so this is my nature room. So this is where I keep all of my insect trophies. Um, if I had fish trophies, I would keep fish... Tro well, I have a couple of fish trophies. I have a clownfish, and then I have this muddy basting fish. So, I've got all of my uh, Happy Home Academy awards and trophies and wall plaques on this wall, and so I've got uh, um, a cup. I've got a couple of fish trophies on the wall. Um, I've got my autographs, and I've got a world map. And uh, over here is a clock, and. Look at all the birdies. And I can, you know, slide it in between this bee. I need to find, like, a piece of furniture to put that bee model on. Alright. So let's head downstairs, first of all. You know, the one thing I want in my real-life house one of these days, this is my arcade. And, of course, I have all of my Super Mario special promo items in here. 
swamp that will actually fall down and swamp me if I encourage it to. And um, I have a dartboard, and so those are some more Mario toys. Um, I have my three arcade machines. It's a fighting game, a shoot 'em up, and a mahjong machine. I wish I knew how to play mahjong. If I played, if I knew how to play mahjong, that would be more valuable to me. I have the I have the uh, goal goalpost uh, flag from Super Mario. That that always makes me happy. I'm so the lights are out in this room, but I'm still illuminating using a whole bunch of Starmans. And so because I have the Starmans in multiple places, you can't hear the theme music because you need to be setting them off in stereo or something like that. But I can't do that because I have this area right here. Sneak behind my arcade machines, and then just hit blocks and make get coins. Get all of the coins. Unfortunately, that doesn't make me any money, but that's the thing I can do. So I have uh, an arcade slot machine here, and then I have a dartboard. And I also have a warp pipe, and I can use that to warp around the island. We're probably going to be using that a little later, though. All right. So now let's go upstairs. And so this is one of my favorite rooms. This is my uh, combination kitchen and dining area. And so I've just got neon signs. I've got some flare pictures on the wall. Um, I have diner stools here. And I also have booths with table settings that I can sit over here. And so I used to have a carousel with, you know, a bunch of food on it, but I think I got rid of that because um, I was just really running out of space when it comes to that room. Um, I have a lot of table settings. I should put out more table settings. This, this one only has two ordinary table settings on it. But, you know, this is my dining room. There's, there's diner wallpaper and then there's cobblestone floor on it. And... Uh, you know, I've got my little kitchenette here. So, um, thanks to the update, I am actually capable to use this, of using this range in order to do some food DIY. And so I'm going to be making some more use of this um, room right here. I'm probably going to be putting food on display on these tables. And of course I have my lovely antique Wurlitzer jukebox. I don't know what I like more, if I like my jukebox up here, or if I like my uh, phonograph in the living room. But you know, at any rate, I just love to have music. So let, let's, uh, just for funsies, let's figure out, let's uh, use the warp pipe. Let's figure out what random part of my island I'm going to emerge in. All right, hop. Oh, look at all the weeds. How embarrassing. Here I am. I'm trying to show you my island. And there's just all these weeds all over the place. Messy, messy, messy. But, you know, I went on hiatus like a lot of people did when I played this game. All right. So I have a few floral arrangements everywhere around here. Um, now that we're getting the new municipal stuff, I think I would like to take this whole upper area and I would like to turn it into an amusement park. I have an amusement park area that's a little bit to the east of here. So I have a few things like I have the Statue of Liberty and the Leaning Tower here. So usually um, this is where I will keep stuff that I get from Gulliver. And so all of my fruit and all of my cherry trees, when I was actually working the economy, I, I would uh, make a lot of money 
on uh, fruit trees. But now I just, you know, have a lot of money, so I don't have to worry about money anymore. Uh, I don't have a shovel anymore. Um, I need to start digging because now that, you know, thanks to the update, I have the ability to find um, gyroid creatures in addition to fossils. I have already maxed out my fossil wing. All right. Let's pick a few random mushrooms while I'm out here. In addition to all the weeds. So that's Jeremiah's house right over there. That was the frog that we met. Well, who rather unnecessarily intruded upon my living space. And so next to his house is the campsite. So I should go over there and I should see who do we have in our campsite. It's an orange-headed cat. I forgot what her name was. Hi there, I'm Tangy, and I'm totes camping on your awesome island. It's kind of random that I came over to Crumpet, but I'm the way glad I did. This place is the bomb. I'm so jelly of everyone who lives here full-time. Let's hang out while I'm here. Rawr. It will be fun. Arg. Camping here is so fun. I don't want to go home. Like they say, a home is where your stuff is. Too bad my stuff isn't here, we are. Well, you could move here. Oh my gosh, moving here would be so awesome, Fab, Super Wow. All at the same time, it would be all Fab, all fab Super Wow-tastic. But, but you don't get my celebrity presence that easy. We're going to have to play a game. If you win, I'll move here. Easy as that sound good. Well, what might you think, chat? Do you think... Uh, um, you would, uh, like, uh, Tangy to move into my village. Speak now or forever hold your peace. Well, let's see if I actually have a chance at winning this game. Alright, time for a card game, then. Okay. Oh my gosh, I've drawn one. Now, what color is this card? Red or black? Ooh. I think I will go with black. And let's see what we've got. Nope. It's a heart. Oh, it's red. Guessed wrong. I won. Sorry, but I won't be moving. That was a super fun game. We'll get the chance to play against some other day. Yeah, well, okay. Well, I lost the coin toss, so unfortunately Tangy's not going to be moving here now. All right. So this is like a full wrestling ring that I uh, put up. And so it's across from this house. So I think, yeah, somebody new lives here. I'm trying to remember what their name was. Um, okay, Biff lives here. Okay, so... So I've got my uh, co-commentator here, and I've also got a bell. I've got a I've got a bear that has a Rocky Mountain Pro Wrestling T-shirt on it. So I've got the so the the skirt right now says ACW, which was All Seas Wrestling. That was an attempted wrestling. Um, Association in Aurora, Colorado. Um, I haven't heard anything new for them. Maybe it, you know, fell through. It's kind of hard to, you know, that's what the pandemic will do. So I'll let you know if ACW exists in my future. Stay tuned. And of course, I've got all the metal fo folding chairs, and I also turned this into a muscle beach. I've got a, a couple of punching bags. A chin-up bar, which I can't use. A uh, bench press bar that I can take a nap on. Let's pick some more weeds here. So, um, 
There are, once upon a time, you know, I did get a high village score and then I use the opportunity that I can to uh, plant a lot of Lily of the Valleys next to people's houses. Whose house was this again? This was Simon's house, so Simon is a monkey. And so this is one of the Hello Kitty villagers. This is Etwa, and they're in right now, so let's play them a visit. Let's go visit Etwa. Welcome to my home, Fuzzy. Let's talk. Ever since we met, I felt like I knew your face from somewhere. Fuzzy, I remember now. You're on the cover of Hobby Life once for a feature article all about your process of collecting stubs. I'm right, aren't I? I'm not? Oh no. Um, can we pretend I never asked? Alright. Hang on, just take this opportunity to glance at chat again. All right. So, you know, something that I'm learning about, you know, multi-streaming right now is that um, Facebook streaming will always pause when you're not looking at it. So, you know, that's the thing. I just kind of have to assume that my stream is still working. All right. I wonder, you know, if um, when I click off, you know, my mouse stops moving. That's one of those fridge door situations. It's something I can't personally know because I'm the one operating this sophisticated high-tech system. So this is my main municipal area here. So I've got a little playground. I've got the toy horsey. I've got some throwing rings, I've got an elephant slide, and over there is Harry the Hippo, just staring at a tree. I'm tired from just watching how busy you are, bitch bub. Now, uh, did I tear it off the stove before I left home? That's assuming I have a stove at home, mind you. Pretty sure I got a home at least. You haven't been sleeping outside, have you, Harry? And so this, yeah, I just kind of put all of my shops in, in one place. Nook's Cranny is up here. Um, Abel Sisters is down here. And so there's a couple of lovely sitting areas right here. So I've got, you know, Easter baskets to the left of me. Shrubs to the right of me and more Lily of the Valley flowers here. There's LaBelle, the fashion designer. We're not going to play her mini game because there's new stuff to explore. There's new stuff to explore in the 2.0 update. Alright, so this is my town hall. I have Doge as a flag. And so there's a little radio here, and so you can start, you know, a mini game where you can stretch along with your villagers, but, you know, it's late at night. I'm not going to be exercising. So, this is DJ Skelly Scale, and he's running the DJ platform over here in the courtyard in front of the museum. So, there's a lots of instruments here. There's a piano. And my little uh, doe villager, also from the Hello Kitty set, likes to play along. I'll just play along with her a little bit. And there's a drum kit here. Uh, it looks like Jeremiah is deep in thought. Okay, let's talk to you. Oh, hi, hun. I was just thinking about my house, because I do that sometimes. It's super comfy for me and for the bugs in the forest, but I wonder what other folks should think of it. Hey, I know. Will you, like, come over and check it out, knee deep? Ah, uh, I can't right now. Oh, no worries. I understand. I'll invite you some other time. So, I got a director's chair and I've got a camcorder in case people want to film a music video to here. That'll always be the dream. I can tiptoe through the tulips 
I'm over here in this section. So, everybody with me. Oh, tiptoe by the window, by the window. That is where I'll be come tiptoe through the tulips with me. Yep. Because I like to do that. This is a little embarrassing. I still have all of my Halloween decorations up. You know, I have played the Halloween mini game so well, and this is the featured prize of it, is that this great big pumpkin coach right here. Um, I also had Santa's sled, but I accidentally gave it away to one of my villagers, and I think they moved, so... Um, look forward to the Christmas stream where I get Santa's sled once again. Okay, I have a visitor in my, in my yard. Hey, Toby. Toby is also from the Hello Kitty set. He's the really big Caro Caro Karopi fan. There's nothing like fall on crumpet. I'm just basking in it, baby. And so I've got a lot of flowers. I've got a few exotic flowers from other villages that I visited. And I've got a lengthy pumpkin patch on this side. Um, now that we're in the 2.0 update, I'll be able to plant some other vegetables here. And so I'm going to have to find a new place for the flowers. Probably in my new amusement park. So a few other villager houses are here. This is Toby's house. So you just met Toby. Alright, this is... Uh, this is Chelsea's house. Alright. And so this is the little amusement park setup that I have so far. For the longest time, this little teacup ride right here was the only amusement park ride that they would give you. But I also put it out a popcorn maker and a candy cane machine and a puppet theater and uh, this little turkey day item which uh, just blows confetti all the time. And so this upper area right here is devoted to some bamboo trees. And I'm debating whether I'm going to keep it or not. So I do have a uh, imperial style wall and I also have a uh, bamboo waterer a bamboo water hose right here with a water bucket and I have a hearth and I have a uh, I have a frog pond and so this is the upper forest area again so we're not going to be going back to that but we'll, let's move aside and let's check out the middle area of, let's see, so uh, this is a wishing, well, I wish I could get a wishing well, but I can't get a wishing well, so I just have this fountain, and this fountain is next to a Japanese-style shrine that has two other, uh, that has two other bamboo trees on it. Uh, the oranges are nice and ripe right now. This is Fang's house. Ooh, Fang just came out. Otherwise, I would have walked in to visit him. So, uh, how are things with you? That's the latest. Alright, so, what to do now? Day is getting away from me. So, this is... Uh, Goldie's house. Goldie is my oldest villager. I never let her move. Because she's one of my favorite characters in the entire game of Animal Crossing. Oh, she's uh, doing a DIY right now. Uh, sorry, I was really focused on this. What are you doing? I'm currently crafting a natural square table. Just to see how I do at it. A uh, DIY is a great way to learn by doing. Wait, something tells me that you already know how to make a natural square table. I do. I'm not surprised you never fail to impress. You must know a do-it-yourself out there who wants to learn how to make a natural square table. Why not I give this recipe to you to pass on? Well, I don't actually want to do that, but... Anything that encourages crafting a natural square table is worthwhile. Yeah, that's what you say.
So, you know, I have a bamboo style floor here, and I have another, like, um, hearth. Um, I forget who lives here. This is Allie's house. Allie is an alligator. I haven't just happened to run into her. I made a Starbucks booth right here. And it has a coffee grinder. And it has a cappuccino machine. Okay, this is another custom. This is the psychiatric help booth from uh, from the Peanuts cartoons. I can sit there or I can sit right here. And then, so um, I've got an opportunity to be either Charlie Brown or Lucy whenever I want to. Okay, this is Harry the Hippo's house. Okay, so, um... I believe that's just about everything, so this is it. This is Crumpet Island. Isn't it nice? So let's get to figuring out how to do some of the new 2.0 activities. Start by visiting Blathers. Uh, Blathers is a big important part of this because he is going to ha add, soon he's going to add Brewster and the coffee shop to this wall. But first I have to give him the idea for it. So let's talk to him. Hmm. Ah. Hoo -hoo, oh dear, I didn't see you there, Emmy. Uh, pardon me, I'm afraid I was quite lost in thought right now, you see. There's a better witch. Ooh -hoo. Actually, your timing is impeccable as ever. Perhaps you can help me. See, I was thinking of ways to draw more folks to our museum when I hit up the idea of adding a cafe. So I tried to contact Brewster, an old friend of mine who happens to be an experienced cafe manager. Unfortunately, it seems that he's closed up, closed up shop and nobody appears to know where he's gone, however. In my search, I also caught a wind of an early unearthed group of gyroids. Brewster goes positively cuckoo over gyroids, you say. I wager with my very wings that Brewster has heard about these gyroids as well. Uh, naturally, you can see where this is going. I would like you to take up the search for Brewster. That is a photograph of Brewster. Should you find him, tell him I'd like him to come to Crumpet. If it helps, the gyroids I mentioned earlier were all found on the islands near where Captain leads his tours. Sorry to burden you with this, but I hope you have my every confidence and my utmost gratitude. Good luck, Debbie. All right. Well, now we shall impose upon Cap'n to take us to an island. So, yeah, look over here. All right. Let's go see Cap'n. We'll see if he's actually out there hanging out by the pier. Right now, at this hour of the night, I don't know if I have to wait for the day in order for him to be here. I don't know if he has hours. Because this is a real-time game, you know. Oh, well... Lighthouse by the pier. I'm glad I thought of that. There he is. Now, what have we here? Yours be a face I've not seen before. Name's Cap'n. What's yours? Derby, is it? Yeah, that'd be a nice, fancy name, that. Well, I came here to ferry folks on tours to various wee islands in exchange for miles. Might even take you where there be rare treasures. Me tours go to places you can only reach with my boat. I can take you almost any time. Let me know when you're ready to sail. Hmm, you ready to take a tour? Round trip fare will cost you a thousand miles. Aye, I'm ready to go. Yeah, that's one thousand miles then. Time to set sail. Watch your step as we hop on board. Frog croaks out, 
Songs that don't make any sense. He's an old frog, so he can hit a any high notes. Ain't a frog that I be. Fortune smiles upon me when I'll sing the frog song. And if you can, you should sing along. Uh, I'm, I'm just as bad a singer as the frog is. Don't cry about dreams that don't come true today. Sometimes you need to try another way. That's a pretty little song. So there's, there's a small sound delay going on, so I probably did not sing that right in tune to the karaoke. So I do apologize to my viewers for that. Yeah, we've arrived. This be our first boat tour, eh? The things you gotta be mindful of for mid tours is the same for them fancy airplane tours. I'll spare you the long-winded explanation. I'll be here waiting for you when you're needing tools or you're wanting to set sail for home. Alright. Say, grab a few weeds. There's blathers already. Yeah, I'd want to wait until he's like not behind a tree so that I can speak to him for the first time. Uh oh. He just likes walking around this tree. What can I say about that? Ooh. You out there looking for gyroids too? That's right. I hope you find a gyroid. A uh, cool. You need something? You know, Brewster? Do I know a who? Cool. You're looking at him. Mind if I ask what you're after? Uh, Blather sent me to. I see. I hear you. Tell him that for me. Oh, and also... This is yours if you want it. It's a gyroid fragment. Plant it to the ground. Give it some water and some time and it will grow up strong the next day. Gyroids take root fast when you return them to the ground. Well then, be seeing you. Live blood is my best. Oh, okay, well. I think I've done what is necessary. Um, there's a DIY table over here. So I don't have a shovel at the moment, so I'm gonna need to make one. See if there's actually a chance that I can find some gyro gyroids on this island. Um, so I've been introduced to gyroids, so I'm probably not going to find any back on my village just yet. Alright. So now I got my shovel. See if there's anything to dig on this island. There are cranberry bushes. I don't know if I can take cranberry bushes with me. Oh look, there's another gyroid fragment. Let me see, I do believe I have my ladder in my inventory. I'm gonna need that in order to get up here. Grab some trees, grab some bushes, grab some sticks. I climb down from here. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking for 
another potential gy gyroid fragment. Is it gyroid or gyroid? I'm having a difficult time with that. Alright. No, I think they're only giving me the one. So, you know, I'm out here looking for new stuff. Um, one thing I should do is I should uh, try hitting the rocks because I understand if you hit rocks at night these days, you'll be able to get some of the uh, super rare um, shooting star fragments that you weren't able to get in, in the uh, previous version. And anyways, it's really just good to get some extra coal, get some extra, a few extra a little bits of building material for DIY. Did I say coal? It's iron. It should be iron. Oh, gold nugget. Okay. Um, I don't have an axe. I also have the ability to craft a golden axe. And no, that's not the Sega game. It's not Sega's golden axe. All right. Far out. Okay, nothing else to pick from this island. Let's go ahead and have Captain get me home. You can hear more of my terrible singing. Eh? I'm ready to go home. Back to Crumpet, eh? Remember that's not returning here later. Do you have all your booty? Yep. And back we go. Be kind to me, old vessel, and mind your step as you hop aboard. And be like a barber, he tells your woes to Count Listener like that everyone goes to. I may not cut your hair, but I'll hear ye out. Soon as I be thundering in the we see trout. Ah, uh, different song going to and from. Catch the rest of your dream falling back asleep. I love to when that happens. It leads so deep. It be so deep. Something like that. Well, now that I got my shovel again, I can start digging around here. I'm more than likely just going to find another pile of fossils. But anyways, I can sell it for money. So I'm going to need to figure out a place on my island where um, I can actually plant these uh, gyroid fragments and have them grow into full-size gyroids. Yep, nothing but fossils, just as I suspected. The Scarlet Derby solves yet another mystery, the mystery of what is in the ground. is out. I didn't think it was that late at night, but it's late enough for Wisp to be out. 
Eek, a ghost! Oh, please, I haven't done anything wrong. Oh, Derby. Oh, please don't startle me like that. My heart nearly stopped, and there goes my spirit again. Great, I can't go around looking like this. What should I do? Uh, I'm so sorry to ask, but uh, is there any chance that you can collect the pieces of my spirit again? Otherwise, I'll be stuck like this for the rest of my life. Like this. I can't even think about it. Please, I promise there'll be a nice reward in it for you. Now, let's see here. There are five pieces of my spirit and all. You should be able to find them floating around the island. Uh, you'll need a net to catch them. I'm counting on you. Thank you. Alright, well. Five spirit pieces. I don't have five slots in my inventory right now. I forget whether or not they they stack. Well, we'll, we'll soon see whether they do. There's one. There's two. Got a wisp spirit piece. And that is the second piece. That is the second piece of the wisp spirit piece. Alright. See where we are. Whoops! What did I just th uh, throw away? Okay, I, I I picked up a fence post on accident. All right. Where was I? Oh yes. Okay, so the the ghost pieces like to stack with each other, so. At least I'm not going to be using up all my inventory doing this. Alright. Whoops. Sound is bleeding again. It was bleeding off of Facebook this time. Ah, oh, well, it's been interesting doing a multi-stream for the first time ever. piece of wood. Oh look, a present. I'm quickly running out of spaces on my inventory. So I have a gold slingshot. It means it simply means that I've done this a lot. I've slingshotted a lot of presents out of this guy. Alright, what do you got for me? Mushroom Umbrella. Okay, now I know how to make a Mushroom Umbrella. Where was I once again? Okay. Net. Can't get too distracted. Can't get distracted anymore. Gotta find the rest of Wisp. That makes three. I need to find two more.
gosh, where is the, where are those last two pieces? Oh, so this is Simon. This is the monkey I mentioned earlier. Hey, I want to add this here just a costume. Well, thanks for filling up my inventory slot. I got it because I thought I'd use it. I don't know all the time, probably, but I barely touched it. It's in real good shape, and it seems like the kind of thing you'd enjoy. So it's all yours if you want it. Wonderful. Well, I'm out of slots. I can't do anything except for find two more wisp pieces at this point. Ugh, well... I'm going to continue the search, but we are at the one hour mark tonight. So this is time for us to take our very first break. Um, those of you who are watching on Twitch will be seeing uh, 90 seconds of ads. So thank you everybody for tuning in. This is the Scarlet Derby streams. This is our stream ray debut, and this is also our first ever multi-stream. So... Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. We will be right back after this short break. Stick around, everybody. Ah, that was some good water. Uh, okay, so... Ah, uh, uh, there was another one. So, um... Hello, everybody! Thank you once again for tuning in to the Scarlet Derby streams. I am your host, the Scarlet Derby. And, uh... So, yeah, this is our stream redebut. Re we are now a multi-streaming show. And we are streaming... To, uh, we're coming at you live on Twitch... YouTube, and Facebook simultaneously. So, thank you everybody uh, so far for uh, for tuning in. Um, you guys have been a wonderful audience. Uh, we are playing the new 2.0 update of Animal Crossing, and uh, we are sponsored by Ray's Energy Drink. Um, drink Ray's Energy Drink, the sugar-free energy drink in a variety of awesome flavors. Um, 
you will be able to uh, use the code Derby sent me at checkout for 15% off your online order. So thank you everybody once again, yeah, for tuning in. Um, it's been a great stream so far. Uh, let's see what else we can do in our little village at night. Uh, all right, so let's head back here. Let me uh, take out my uh, controller again. All right. Few more weeds. Let's see, walking up and down along the sides of the beach because I still need to find the other two parts of Wisp that are just kind of floating, you know, ghost particles floating randomly around my village. What is the world coming to? Oh, there it is. I want to walk right by it. Okay, yeah, one more to go. Hey, uh... Cat lady, have you uh, seen any ghost particles around here? It's not the most flattering thing to say about your own town, but... mushroom again because I can't figure out well because my pockets are full You know, the real curious thing about this is that I haven't actually seen Wisp for a while. I don't know where he got off to. And here I am, just being real super busy, hunting for his bodily excretions. Hunting for his bodily fluid... I, I, I don't know. I don't know what he's made out of. I don't know what I'm actually catching in my net. last faithful piece of Wisp's anatomy continues to elude me. Okay, well, it's not on the coast. That's unfortunate. So let me show you a quick little shortcut around my island.
Where is that last piece? They're playing hide and seek on me. Oh no, actually that's Swiss himself. He's still hanging out betwixt the trees over there. Oh, there it is. So, while I was away, I, I came to the realization about something, is that I don't think you're allowed to set your own commercial breaks anymore on Twitch. Or maybe it's just the fact that I'm no longer an affiliate, so I don't have the opportunity to set my own breaks anymore. So, yeah, um, my Twitch chat is just going to randomly cut to commercial anytime a Dharma feels like it, and I have no control over that anymore. Because I had to quit being affiliate so I can do the multi-stream. So, yeah, that's not an ideal situation. You did it. You found all the pieces of my spirit. Come on, hand them over, hurry. Here you go. Perfect, that's all five pieces. Ta-da! Ah, back to normal. Woo, thank goodness. And thank you, I feel wonderful. Oh, right, I need to give you the reward I promised. Uh, what's it going to be? I'm thinking some type of clothing. I can get you something you don't have yet, or I can get something expensive. Oh, well, yeah, something new. Okay, you've got it. Something new, something you don't have yet. But ever than that, you've already got a lot of stuff. I think I have just the item for you. Here, I have some oval glasses. I'll put this item in your pocket, okay? Let's say, just say, I hope our paths cross again sometime. Until then, farewell. All right. Well, now my pockets are completely full, so I better stop at my house. You know, I do believe Tom Nook said something in that letter about getting a new tool shed. Tool sheds would be useful because I can put them all around the island and I can use them to access my storage anywhere. Alright. Ah, uh, so much junk. Okay. Put it in storage, put the gold nugget away. Um, put all of the weeds away. <laughs> I have so many weeds in my pocket. Um, put the jester costume away. Um, tree branch. Um, 20 rocks. Uh, let's put the uh, nine iron nuggets, um, three mushrooms, well, three raw mushrooms anyway. I think I have, like, eight mushrooms. All right. Let's get Blathers to examine these fossils, and then I also gonna need to, uh, talk to Tom Nook about getting that tool shed. Are you still searching for that certain coffee curating Columbide? What is that? By which I mean Brewster? Yeah, I found him. Ooh, it allowed me to add hoot. But it is simply wonderful news. Do tell, what did he have to say? He said, I hear you. Oh, that's simply marvelous news. What a relief. And Brewster is a punctual and precise fellow, so I expect he'll make his way here forthwith. Uh, what I suppose that means... Oh dear, I must make arrangements for his rival straight away. That end, I'm afraid I'm going to need to close the museum to all visitors tomorrow for construction. Everything goes as planned. We shall reopen the day 
after next with cafe service in place. It is my sincere hope that you will join us for a cup of joe on that date. Alright. Oh, yes, I remembered something I wanted to tell you. Oh, blathers. Blathers. I'm trying to give you fossils. I decided to have a series of posters made to celebrate the completion of our collections. I felt it would be a good way to show my gratitude to everyone for pitching in to grow in this world-class museum. Just imagine it. The entire wing of this magnificent museum captured in a single image. Anyway, you won't need to abandon it. Oh, wow! Mr. Crunchberry just raided the channel with 10 viewers. Thank you, Mr. Crunchberry, Mrs. Crunch, and everybody who just came over from uh, Mr. Crunchberry's channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are awesome. You guys are wonderful. You guys are fantastic. Uh, so this is the Scarlet Derby streams, and I'm the Scarlet Derby. So thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, so um, I am now a multi-stream. You are capable of watching me on YouTube, Twitch, and Facebook. Um, it means, uh, unfortunately, that I did have to give away my Twitch affiliate status, but, you know, it'll be worth it to have lots of great new viewers like everybody who just came over from Mr. Crunchberry's raid. Thank you so, so much for coming in. Let's see. So, Blazers is giving me a poster. Also, these posters will be available for purchase so that interests you. Just let me know. All right. I don't know exactly what he's trying to do with the posters, but I'm game for whatever Blazers wants to do. All right. Yeah, I have fossils in my pockets. My pockets are just bulging with large, extinct um, animals. Ah, uh, Mr. Crunchberry says, Ah, okay, I was wondering what you were doing here. No offense. I thought you had said you weren't streaming here anymore. Well, I mean, it is to say that I quit Twitch. And, you know, by quitting Twitch, that means that, you know, I'm not a Twitch affiliate anymore. Um, it gives me the ability in order to stream on multiple channels, so, um, um, I'm on Twitch, but I'm also on two other channels, which is something that Twitch would not necessarily want, and also, you know, we do have the opportunity in to move to that other streaming channel, the one that is going to be coming out in the first quarter of 2022, so... We'll see about that as it comes along. But in the meantime, I am going to be streaming on three ch on uh, th on three uh, websites. So you can follow me anywhere you want. So that's pretty cool. At least I've got that going for me, which is nice. Ooh, more than one I see. Let's take a close. Oh well, I don't need to. I don't need to translate this. Everybody knows um, this talk from Bill Blathers. Yeah, I'll tear you up. I'll be there too. Okay, well, now I've said the name. All right. I wonder if I can buy posters for the entirety of my fossil wing. And then just put my fossil wing up on a wall or something. I'm pretty sure it'll have to be an inside wall. Unfortunately, this 2.0 update is not going to help me get a bigger house. All right. And now you have learned how I make my money. Even though I got a full fossil wing, I still evaluate fossils and then leave them in the Dropbox. So something else I'm going to have to do, I am going to have to plant these two gyroids. So, um, so at some point I'm going to have to pluck all of these flowers and I'm going to have to relocate them somewhere else. There's so much work to do. I am so incredibly busy. Alright, so I guess I'll... This looks as like as good a place as any. Let's get Mr. Shovel out. As I know that my vast inexplicable army of wooden ducks is going to keep an eye on these two gyroids for me as they grow into adulthood. I've got a golden watering can because I've been a good citizen. Uh, 
Um, no indication whether or not those are properly watered. Oh, no, actually, now I see it. You just see a little a tiny cloud pop out of the hole after you water it. Yeah, Mrs. Crunch says she is going to be on Altair too. Yes, we are all going to be on Altair, but we're also not going to talk about it very much. I don't know, you know, what Twitch's attitude is going to be when it, if it comes to me multi-streaming. I mean, it's certainly something that I can do. It's it's an option that is included in my streaming software, but. You know, we can talk about the events and the circumstances that, you know, led to this until the cows come home. And the cows are going to come home and the chickens are going to come to roost and every archaic statement thereof. They shouldn't have a problem, I wouldn't think. I mean, your affiliation is not there, so no harm, no foul. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know either. Well, you know, I just learned something about not being affiliated, and it's the fact that I cannot set my own advertising time. There's a good chance that my stream is still going to cut into advertising, but, you know, I can't be absolutely sure of that. So what was I going to do after planning the gyroids? Um... I was going to go talk to Tom Nook about getting a tool shed. That's what I was going to do. Oh, Derby. Hello, hello. Say, I sent you a notice about this through the mail already, but uh, you can expand your home service even further now. Just like last time, you need to pay the construction fees up front. With a few additional upgrades, we should boost your maximum storage by a considerable amount. So if you want to expand your home storage even further, come find me so we can talk about your home. Alright. What do you got for me, Nook? This is the construction compensation corner. How can I help you, hmm? Um... About my home. Time to talk about your home. What shall we discuss? Um, expand my storage. Okay, well, how much do you want? Um, 700,000 bells, okay. Um, yes, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, I actually need to withdraw in order to do this. It was really cool, by the way. I was playing Potion Craft, and the game's publisher, Tiny Build, was there. Oh, wow. That is terrific. Yeah, you know, um, that has only happened to me one other time, and it was when I was guesting on twitch.tv slash Game Night Geek Bar, is that we were playing, um, we were playing a TCG, and the TCG creators came in and actually started to chew the fat with us, and it was pretty cool. That's always great when that happens. Okay, well, where was I? Uh, Tom Nook wants 700,000 for his storage uh, upgrade. Uh, I'm starting to run out of money. I'm, uh, before long, all of these upgrades are going to bring me down to zero, and then I'm actually going to have to start playing this game sincerely again. I remember Tiny Build. Um, if I'm not mistaken, they're also the people who created No Time to Explain Remastered. If I'm not, yeah, um, maybe, maybe I, I'm not sure about that. Don't quote me on that one, folks. All right. Nice. Um. Let's see. Yes, let's do it. Alright. 
So let's check what I can buy with my Nook Miles. There should be some new stuff in here because of the upgrade that I have been discussing all night. Let me see. Island Life app, I need to buy that. I mean, so this was a, a second version of the tutorial manual that they added to the game because, you know, there was going to be a new install base after this upgrade. They did the exact same thing with uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. They applaud. They applaud when I buy things from them. Yeah, I wouldn't have it if it's still here, so I should buy that one. Custom design. I temporarily forgot what I was doing there. Okay. Custom design uh, patterns plus 1800 miles. Sheesh. They're going to have achievements in no time flat either because um, then I'm going to need achievements in order to get new nook, uh, nook miles and pay for all of these new apps. Pro decorating license, okay, well. So now I'm going to be able to do some new land alteration. Ah, okay. This totally makes sense. Now I can use accent walls and ceiling items to realize my vision. So, more stuff that I can buy at the Nook Stop. At the Nook Home, at the Nook's Cranny, whatever they call it. 2,500 miles for custom fencing. Getting all the goodies here. There are no barriers to mixing things up with colorful fencing. I, I swear that, you know, they take, um, you know, every, you know, the people who work at Nintendo program this game, but then they all call their dads on the telephone and tell them to write all of the jokes for it. All right. New reactions notebook. All right. I'll buy one of those. This is just something that comes out of the machine now. I miss Dr. Shrunk. He was an axolotl. And if you don't like that, you can relax a little. See, I can make jokes like that too. <laughs> Alright. Alright, I'm gonna get some dinner. Have a good rest of the night, Derby. Good to see you again. Yes, and it was very good to see you again. Uh, Mr. Crunchberry. Um, so I still believe I have the ability to make shoutouts. Be sure to check out 
Mr. Crunchberry on his channel. They were last playing Potion Craft, and as we previously mentioned, they just got visited by the developer, so be sure to check out his channel. It's becoming big and important. So, yeah. thank you very much for coming in, and thank you very much for the raid. All right. Let me see here. Top four hairstyles. Corrugated iron fence, vertical board fence. I don't think I have enough room for fencing yet, so I don't think I'm going to buy those just yet. Um, free donation box. Well, uh, it costs 800 miles, but then I'm going to get it right away. I think I actually think it might be yeah, it's a DIY recipe. That's why I get it right away. Let me see. Wooden storage shed. That's what this is what I've been looking for. Now I have the ability to learn how to make my own storage shed. And I can put storage sheds all over my village and I can uh I can access my storage from multiple places around my village. Maybe I'll put them all right next to my warp pipes. And so I believe I have most of the rest of this stuff. Yeah, this has been the pretty standard list. There is a few new things here. Um, they have some more new um, amusement park goodies. And so that is definitely something I want to get in because I want to build that amusement park in the middle part of my island. See, this is a bouncy, like a bouncy house or a bouncy slide. I think it's supposed to be a bouncy house. Um, so yeah, so I need to buy this plaza themed furniture for when I want to make my amusement park train. See, even the teacup ride has been renamed the plaza teacup ride. So, you know, it's part of this set. All right. Ferris wheel, merry-go-round. Oh, I can buy, I can buy automatic teller machines, like the one I'm using currently, and I can put those all around the village. Okay, so, this is all the Nickel Ink uh, merch. Yeah, so, there's some cool stuff here. Okay, so that takes care of that. I now have my new DIY recipes, and I can use them to create things that are going to be useful to me. All right. Look at all my new stuff. So, um, yeah, while I was uh, playing uh, the uh, Halloween uh, mini game. I got a new recipe that will teach me how to create a spooky trick lamp. Um, mushroom umbrellas, which I can need three flat mushrooms in order to make. They need to be flat mushrooms, otherwise they don't make good umbrellas. New park fence, uh, which I should actually um, start building around my playground. A new stonework kitchen. And a large lattice fence. Alright. Didn't I get some other new stuff? 
Yeah, what happened to my... Okay, Pitfall Seed. Okay, so... Oh, you know, I still have them... I still need to learn how to read these. Okay, so... I gotta read this, and then I gotta learn how to make the story shed. That's why I wasn't seeing it. What's this other DIY card? Donation box. Yeah, I need to learn how to make that too. I forget specifically what the donation box is for. I know it does serve a useful purpose in this update. Okay, so... What do I need in order to make the storage shed? I need three kinds of wood. 30 pieces of three kinds of wood. Wow, they didn't make this easy. Let's see if I have that in my storage area. That is expensive, man. That costs a lot. Alright. Pro decorating license. Time to learn about accent walls and hanging items from the ceiling. Sure. Okay, accent walls, blah, blah, blah. Uh-huh. Use the plus button so I can edit the ceiling. Okay. Now, where was I? This game is so hard to do when you have a ASD because, you know, you've already forgotten what you were in the middle of doing. And because the game just kind of popped up with to teach you something. Oh yeah, okay, so I was gonna look in my storage and I was going to see if I could pull out 90 pieces of wood so that I can make this new storage shed. Okay, here we are. Yeah, move to pockets. So I do have plenty of wood. And that's good because um, I will be able to make multiple. Uh, I'll be able to make multiple storage uh, boxes out of the gate, and I will be able to use up most of what is in my already omniscient storage area. And let me just go ahead and let me make you the people you the people watching at home. Get to see me make my very first wooden storage shed. Alright. Now, where are we going to put you? I think it would be silly to put it right next to my house. Because I don't need... I don't need a storage shed right next to my house because I'm already right next to my house. Uh, and I can go inside of my house and I can use my storage. So let's see here. Where do I want to put you? Um, so I've always kept a DIY... I've always kept a DIY table right here in the municipal area. And then I've also always kept a, uh, a uh, DIY table next to the... Uh, campsite because I am always asking the campsite because I'm always uh, building things for the for the campers whenever I use amiibo and whenever I use amiibo cards so I think maybe this is a good place to inaugurate my first storage shed all right so See, if I tuck it... Well, let me get rid of these shrubs. Say, so, yeah, we're trying to make a useful place. And so now, I can access my storage here. That's very useful. Oh, one thing I should have seen is... Can I customize my storage shed? Can I paint it a different color? I don't think I have my crafting supplies with... Oh, actually, yes, I do. Um, yeah, I can paint it a different color. Okay, so what color can I paint it? Brown, ivory, green, blue, red, dark brown, ash, 
or black. Um, for an outdoor storage shed, I think ash looks nice enough. Alright, now this has a little bit of style. Okay, well, I got some nook points for that. Say, grab one for picking three mushrooms. And also, yeah, Fut furniture freshener. I have customized 100 pieces of furniture. That's good to know. Do I have any more to claim? I think I have this one to claim. Shop to it. Yep. So I can no longer earn points based on shopping. That's a shame. Gulliver's Travels. True patron of the arts. See, which other ones do I have here? Um, yeah, I think that's it. Okay, so once again, storage shed next to the campsite. So many other things to do. Okay, I need to talk to um, Isabel. And I need to, I need to start playing with this new ordinance feature that they have. So I have the ability to tell the, uh, tell the villagers whether to wake up early or stay up late or uh, whatever I, I want to, whatever whims that I have. Oops. I accidentally walked into the nook's cranny. Um, there's barely anything here. I think I have all of this furniture. Yeah, I have the race car bed. I have the modern bench. And I have... I definitely have a lot of servers. They are inside my server room. Okay, nothing worth buying here. But they're just so cute. You know, they are just so darn adorable. And you might want to buy something from Nook's Cranny. Let's see here. I was gonna talk to Isabel. Okay. I don't think I want to give Isabella a voice because I don't think anything I could do would do her justice. Okay, let's see. Um, let's talk I island. Yeah, well, you know, even after all this time, I still have a five-star rating. View island features. Uh, discuss ordinances. Okay, here it is in the menu. All right. You want to talk about ordinances for Crumpet? Sure. You don't have any ordinances in effect in Crumpet. And acting an ordinance means lots of work. We only need 2,000 bells. Okay, well. I have to pay her to do this. Um, so let me see what would be helpful. Beautiful island ordinance means that I can get the villagers to occasionally pick up, um, well, after themselves, pick up garbage off of the ground and pick up weeds and pull weeds. Um, early birds means everybody wakes up in the morning. Night owl means everybody wakes up at night. And bell boom, which means that um, everybody... Uh, well, prices go up, but also everybody spends more money. Um, I think I want the Night Owl Ordinance because I am probably going to be doing a lot more streams in the future. And so I definitely want my villagers to be awake 
while, whenever I decide to play this. This would boost nightlife by asking folks to stay up later. We also have island businesses extend their hours. Okay, that's very useful. Yes, I would. All right. There you go. Uh, I'm good for now. I think I can only have one ordinance at a time. I might be mistaken there. Oh, also, what's in the recycle bin? Ooh, lots of stuff. Cardboard box, tiki torch, saplings, tile walls, holy socks, wooden bookshelves, purple Moroccan flooring. Who would throw that out? Uh, fitness tank top. Basketball tank top. Very nice, very nice. Okay, a wooden bookshelf. Eh, I'll take it. Uh, mini cactuses. Okay. Cardboard box, cardboard box, tiki torch. Well, you know, um, on second thought, I, I will take the cardboard boxes with me because um, I'm going to put them in storage and then I'm going to take them out if I have a DIY for them. Let me see here. Uh, you know, I think I, uh, uh, my stream blinked out in the middle of uh, playing... YouTube, so I'm going to try to go live again. <sighs> you know, doing multi-streams is a little strange sometimes. Operating under the assumption. No, or maybe I was only allowed to stream for one hour and 30 minutes. It's hard to tell. I have no way of knowing. Um, I'm fortunately still on, on Facebook anyway. I'm going to have to look that one up. Figure out that little what's it. How that tends to work. So what was I in the middle of doing? I was in the middle of, well, taking all of this stuff and putting it in storage. Because it's new and fun, I am choosing to walk all the way over to the campsite in order to put these things in storage. This is not as fast moving as it would be if I were not using a storage shed. It's a slow process, folks. 
So the bell has tolled for 9 p.m. You know, ordinarily I would go for another break, but I think one break is enough if I don't actually have to be responsible for my own commercials. So let's just go into our last hour of playing this. Um, there's a couple of other interesting things I could probably do. You know, I think there might be some animals who are already up again. Simply because, I'll, you know, I put in that ordinance and now immediately a lot of my villagers are awake. Hey, uh, Toby's place is really relaxing, huh? The other day Toby gave me a sports drink and it was so good. No, I'm not just here for another sports drink. Unless you're having one, then I am, Squirt. Alright, let's get the party started. Debbie and Biff in the house. Hey, do me a favor. Go talk to Biff a little bit. I want everyone to have a good time. You're just raring to go, so uh, what do you need, Squirt? You're up for a little uh, three on three basketball between you, me, and Toby? We got a team. We should stop practicing, alright? Who's got a ball squirt? I really like the Kuropi wallpaper. I, I should try to put that one up. Oh, so one thing I should do is I should visit Harvey's Island because Harvey is now a hub where you can get some more villages to visit. And I also just happen to have the entirety of my Animal Crossing amiibo collection in front of me. So maybe I can get the ball rolling on a few of these new acquisitions on Harv's Island. Ooh, a hermit crab. Where's my net? There we go. Got myself a hermit crab. Alright, so let's go visit Harvey's Island. Hey, 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 welcome to your one and only gateway to the skies, the Crumpet Airport. How can I help you out today? I want to fly. Roger! So, uh, just to get the paperwork all official, where'd you want to go? Let's go to Harv's Island. Harv's Island? Roger that, good buddy. I can set you up right now, but are you ready? All packed and stuff? Yeah, time for takeoff. Alright, let's get you airborne. I don't know why they should go to Tower. Well, Bert, you got a copy, and we got a walker who needs wings over. Okay, have a good flight, friend. And when you need to travel, just think, what would dodos do? You see, that's a joke because dodos are actually flightless birds. A dodo has landed. Uh. Uh, hold on, Harvey is AWOL, not like him that was banned in his post, or do much of anything, really. He said, there's a new path over there, land-based recon's not my area, so it looks like it's up to you. Alright. So this is what Har Harv's Island 
this is what the function of it used to be is that there um, this uh, room has a large photo booth in it and you're able to pose mannequins and you're able to take lots of pictures and things like that okay there's Harv and he's talking to Harry at the hairdresser right now so did you get the little note I sent you well you must have since you're here I'm so excited to share this with you this this right here is gonna be the heart of our new collective I really put my soul into this Ah, but I've had plenty of help from all kinds of folks along the way. My old pal Harriet here. Here you go way back. You can call her Hattie for short if you want. Uh, they most certainly cannot call me that, however. If only you can call me that. Sorry, Sugar. I'm Harriet. It's nice to finally meet you. I've heard all about you from Hartiel. Well, uh, there you have it. So where was I? All right. My dream collective. Well, this is what I envision as the heart of the movement, a central plaza filled with co-ops. Now here's the business part, which uh, gets kind of ugly. I hate even talking about bells, you know. But a co-op can't build itself without a little cooperation, so I think the best idea is to have a little fundraiser. Every time we raise enough capital for a co-op, we can get a new one going. Golly, did I just say capital? Well, I suppose that's my sales page. Sorry, I was never cut out for sales. Um, second yeah that is staying that way unfortunately might be mighty grateful if you're interested in helping us realize this dream even if it's only a little bit at a time every little bit helps leave it to me Oh, that's great. Out of this world. I, I knew I could count on you to help me, Derby. I actually got another old pal to help me uh, volunteer as well. You know my buddy Lloyd, don't you? Well, that's so kind of to uh, reach out to some of his pals, also named Lloyd, and I'll all be volunteering. So when you're ready, just go ahead and ask any Lloyd about which co-op he's collecting for. Feel free to explore the area, meditate, or snack on some vegan pumpkin nachi if the mood strikes. Thanks again for helping us, and I'll see you around. Alright. Well, this is a new bit. Okay, I can't I can't pick weeds on Har's Island, unfortunately. So, one Lloyd. Good evening, buddy. We're accepting donations to fund a mysteriously accurate fortune teller chum. Our goal is 100,000 bells. Currently, you have zero bells in donations. Still need 100,000 bells. Alright, well. Okay, so I can get Katrina the fortune teller here. Um, who are you collecting for? Um, that's Sahara Space. An old timer, okay, so this is Tortimer space. And Tortimer just kind of gives you the ability to access your storage while you're on this island. Alright. So that's three, four, five, five sets of 100 bells each. Wait, did I count that right? One. Two, three, four, five, six. Might be six, it might be seven, I'm not entirely sure. Seven, yeah, it's seven. Okay, well, you know what? Let me see if I just have enough money in the bank in order to pay for all of this. Let me fly back. Get as much of this opened up as possible. And, oh, and then after I had that conversation, then the house opened up. The house lights came on again, so I'm probably able to use the photo area again. Alright. Unfortunately, I was under the false impression that this section of the game used uh, Amiibo. 
And so I took the time earlier this morning to just to pull out all of my Amiibo toys and um, also all of my Amiibo cards, but unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to use them in this way. Um, so I think I needed 700,000 bells. Um, let me see if I can pull that. Let me see, uh, probably end up pulling 8,000 just in case this is not... Uh, say this is not the city hall. This is the city hall. All right. So I only have $400,000 right now, so I'm going to have to get back to work. Is that this, uh, this stream is actually making me have to work for a living. So I pull out 300000 right now, and then I will just... I will head back to Harv's Island, and I will pick out the three businesses that I want to open. I mean, one advantage that this uh, update has is that it actually makes me want to go to Harv's Island. I wasn't going to Harv's Island an awful lot before. to get started. Um, so I don't think I want to unlock Sahara yet. Probably won't unlock uh, Tortimer yet. Um, I might want Katrina, but um, we'll see about that. husband and wife refurbishing team. So that is Reese and Cyrus. I definitely want to get them. So let me pay 100000 to get Reese and Cyrus here. They've always been some of my favorite Animal Crossing characters. Everybody has been all up in arms about getting Brewster, but my favorite characters are Reese and Cyrus. They are adorable, fluffy alpaca people. Alright. Let's see. Who else is here? Oh, I have to do this. I only get a choice of doing one per day. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Well, the, the, these are the first new people I'm going to get. I'm going to get my fun alpaca pair. All right. I didn't hear anything about her yet, but it's simply because, you know, it's probably I haven't picked one yet. After all my years in the shop, I never got used to never being outside. This new lifestyle is just about the most invigorating thing I've ever done. Who needs indoors? Hey, Derby. I heard you pushed us over the top with a generous donation today. It's just so groovy of you. I'm not a big paperwork guy, but I did go ahead and file the papers for the new shop. 
It'll be open tomorrow. Hope to see you there. Alright. So what other things that can I do for this new update? Um, something that I want to try is that now I can now I can take a look at this cooking app. Let's see here. Here it is. Cooking with DIY recipes. You can now craft food and drinks. Okay, yeah. You'll need to use a kitchen in order, instead of a workbench in order to make food. So, let's see. So, we have these two categories now. One of them says savory and sweet. Um, I can make pancakes with flour and sugar. And I can make pear smoothies with pears. Um, I can make, let me see, carrot potage with flowers and carrots, pumpkin bagel sandwiches with flour and orange pumpkins, tomato curry with flour and tomato, and a grilled sea bass with herbs with a sea bass and a clump of weeds. Okay, well, I need to figure out how to get flour. I need to figure out how to get wheat. I need to figure out, yeah, how to get... Start getting some cooking implements. The first thing I should do is I should check out... Um, I should check out Nook's Cranny because maybe in the utility section they have seeds I can use in order to plant for food. Let's see here. See, they have flower seeds here. They have sapling seeds here. Um, there's a digital book filled with food and drink recipes. It's called Basic Cooking Recipes. That's 4,900 bells. Okay, so let me buy that. Let's see what else we have here. Slingshot recipe, ladder, setup kit recipe. To install a ladder against a cliff. Okay, that that's new. Let's see. Okay, I have all of those. Um, let's see. Walls and floors. Okay, so they don't have... So I don't believe that they have seeds for food items. Maybe I need to wait for a specific villager or something for that. Um, they have a bubble wand right now. That's something I'm going to have to figure out. I'm going to figure, have to figure out how to uh, plant wheat and then use wheat in order to get ingredients for my cooking like flour. Okay. Let's see what was in that immediate recipe upgrade. Um, whole wheat flour, brown sugar. Oh, comes from sugar cane. That's something else I'm going to have to pack. Maybe I'm going to have to cut down some bamboo and then replace it with sugar cane. Seaweed soup. All I need is seaweed. Um, organic bread. Comes from whole wheat flour. Gnocchi comes from flour and potato. And then tomato puree comes from tomatoes. Which I don't have yet. Pears, flour, sugar, carrot cake. 
and a lot of these require flour and sugar and I have not figured out how to get those yet. Now let me see which villager would I ordinarily count on in order to give me flour. I have no earthly idea. Another question I need to ask for myself is, um, how how is it possible to know when the gyroids are ready? I assume I'd have to wait at least a day. need to consider to do so many things. Let's see. Next thing I'm going to be doing, learn to build my own ladder. I don't actually need ladders on cliff sides anymore because I've already built my village in a way where I can just go up ramps. This is a highly wheelchair accessible village. So this is Etoile, who is a French Hello Kitty fan. So much to see, even when you're just out for a walk fuzzy. Had that La Belle is here on the island for the day. I'm trying to work up the nerve to ask her opinion on my outfit. Pick a few more weeds for now while I come up with the next cool new thing for me to do with the 2.0 update. I see a present, so I'm going to go ahead and use my golden slingshot again. What's in here? Clay. Okay, goody. Just mash that together with the clay that's already in my pocket. You know, something I could probably do just just for funsies. Let, let me use the warp pipes and let me warp around my island. There are five of these, and then I also have one that is in my basement. 
And so you know when I made it back into my basement when the music stops. Oh, look, there's a bottle. Let me see, what is in the message bottle? Well, it's a DIY recipe as usual, but yeah, I already know how to do that. I already know how to make a chair out of logs. Okay, well, let's entertain LaBelle. I can't visit the Able Sisters because they're already close for the night. Oh, hello there. I'm here on Crumpet to study design some more. If it's not an imposition, would you mind doing another style session with me? Love it if you showed me an outfit that's outdoorsy. Imagine you're going for a hike or perhaps camping. You could also try on some casual, loose-fitting clothes. Just imagine yourself at a picnic in the park. I'll give you some outdoorsy clothing so you have an idea of the look I'm going for. See, it's a shirt with a camera. Alright. Let's see if I can do this. We'll start by putting on what she gave me. And that's a shirt with a camera. And then let me go back to my closet to get everything else. This has to be my closet. It can't be my storage area. Alright. So how do I make an outdoorsy look? And you see, bell bottoms would be useful. And then for a hat, I think I just have a fishing cap here. Okay. Oops. I did not save my creation. Bell bottoms. And then... I have LaBelle's designer hat. I don't think that'll get me. Maybe this outdoor hat is more outdoorsy. Okay. So I'm still wearing my mask, so as I so as not to give away my secret identity. Yes, this is what I mean when I say I'm looking for an outdoorsy style. What a superb combination of pieces. You've expressed the theme beautifully. I've learned so much. Thank you. I'm going to send a little gift to your home to show my appreciation. And don't forget the tailor's tickets are supposed to be used at the tailor shop. And I want you to have this too. It's one of my own creations. It's a LaBelle skirt. Now get me out of here, LaBelle, because I do not want to be a cot dead in this outfit. it again. There we are.
Got all my ducks in a row over there. So I also have this pond. Well, not that pond. There's still another pond. I have... I think it gets right about here, actually. Or perhaps I don't have that anymore. Perhaps I, uh... I closed that one down because I knew I was going to have to make new room for all this new stuff in my Animal Crossing Village. Okay, so this is it. Right here. This is the Pond of the Interesting Duck. You go over there and you listen to that duck. Because that duck has got some interesting things to say. So I don't have the ability to make any of these recipes except for maybe the sea bass recipe which only requires me to fish for a sea bass and also use the clumps of weeds that are already in my pockets. I don't think it's particularly fun to eat clumps of weeds but I don't know. I don't live in Animal Crossing. You should never have the word clump in a recipe. It's one of those words that people don't like to hear. It's like moist. So let's see if I can actually catch a sea bass. And then let me see if I can actually cook it on my griddle. Ah, red snapper. Oh, it's not what I was hoping for. Oh, but that gave me an idea. I've come up with a recipe for pesque a l'acqua pazza. I think that's still French. So many French things in tonight's in tonight's playthrough. La Belle is French. Etoile is French. And Estan Pascal is also French. Ooh, there's a big fishy right there. Okay, now I got a sea bass. Oh! And there is also a recipe for sea bass pie. You can make lots of things with fish, apparently. Of course, I probably still need the flour, which I can't make yet, in order to make sea bass pie. Second red snapper. be helpful as if I could make a permanent ladder right in front of the island where I regularly see red. That would be helpful. So I should go fishing now. I should also go diving because if I go diving, I might learn some recipes from the deep sea life, like how to cook squid and things like that. Um, I also can dig for clams because I would bet that there are some recipes for clams.
Well, not for vanilla clams, apparently. vanilla clams. Okay, well then that's a bust. Where is my diving suit? Okay, so I'll go diving in a second, but I should probably start putting stuff back in storage. It is convenient that I now have my storage shed all the way over here. Oh, okay, I can select multiple items. I did not know that. That hermit crab away. That hermit crab did not make a recipe because hermit crabs are friends, not food. Oops. I hate to break the fourth wall like that. Alright. Time to go swimming. With my hat and shoes still on. So there's some people who like to say that the entirety of the ocean is just one great big soup pot. And it makes sense within a certain uh, context because there are, there is seafood in the ocean. Ooh, oysters. Unfortunately, this is not triggering my intellectual pursuit of cooking. So where was I? Oh yes, um, a lot of people tend to think that the ocean is a soup. I mean, soups don't necessarily need to be hot. There are cold soups like gazpacho. Pearl oyster. Well, I cut a regular oyster and it did not trigger a recipe, so I don't think a pearl oyster is going to. Cap'n is out here and staring at me, thinking that fella could use a boat. Lobster! Oh, a spiny lobster. I have not caught this one yet. I have actually added something to my... to my Critterpedia, and I'm going to have to give it to Blathers, too. So that he can keep it in his museum. And I need to do it tonight because he's going to be closing the museum. So I've got seaweed. I can do that seaweed soup recipe now. I think I need three pieces of seaweed in order to make that though. left so I can still dive
journey. Another oyster. Oh, a chambered Nautilus. Is it on the nutty list? These are the jokes, people. So this has been worthwhile, not because I'm actually learning new recipes, but because I am finding some things to add to Blyther's Aquarium. Fortunately, I did not learn a, less, a recipe for a how to cook barnacles. Boy, that is a fast moving circle. I think that circle might be going faster than I can run, so I'm going to get this slightly sl uh, smaller bounty first. Starfish. All right. Gosh, that is a fast-moving uh, circle. I don't think I'm going to catch that. Maybe it's a jellyfish. Jellyfishes usually go pretty fast. Oh, I thought I'd juke it, but it juked me. Serpentine! Serpentine! Yeah, whatever that is, I'm not catching it. Grab something in the meantime. Another starfish. Okay, well, three slots left. I should swim around it and wiser, or I should just grab this other one instead. This is a shrimp. Again, this is what I need for the aquarium. That leaves me with one slot, yeah. It's a mantis shrimp. Okay, well, that fills up my pockets. I've got some stuff to donate to Blathers before he closes tomorrow. Okay, well... Let me take off this swimsuit. And because I put on my swimsuit, I don't have anything else. I don't have any more room in my pocket. 
that's kind of how it works. Alright. To make a donation. I'd like to donate all these fish. One oyster, nautilus, shrimp, a mantis shrimp, and a spiny lobster. Uh -huh. Tell me about this oyster. Who indeed hoot, what a splendid oyster. Oysters are marvelous mollusks, and in many ways the social butterflies of the sea. And as these bivalves tend to live attached to rocks in large groups, known as oyster beds. These reef-like structures provide home and habitat for delightful variety of creatures. Mussels, barnacles, and sea anemones have all been known to set up house. Meanwhile, small fish and crabs hide from predators, and even raise their young among the snuggling oysters. With all the hubbub, an oyster bed sounds like the last place one would want to get to sleep. We have this item on display in the museum at this very moment. Do feel free to take a look at your leader. Alright. So long, Blathers. I would like to say that that talk that you gave me was very interesting. So I think I'm just going to put this stuff in, in storage, and now it is going to be the top of the third hour, so it's going to be time for me to leave. So I do apologize to the people who were attempting to view on YouTube, because I knew that there were some people that were attempting to view on YouTube. I think I have a sneaking suspicion that there might be a one hour and 30 minute limit for anyone who is not a uh, YouTube partner. And so if that is the case, well, then I'm going to have to, you know, do a few more of these streams, see if I can actually outstrip that limit. But in the, I'm probably going to have to be shutting off my YouTube stream a bit earlier, figure out how to do that, you know. Because all of this about um, multi-streaming is all as new to me as it is to you. So there are bound to be some misgivings as I do it. So let me see, okay. There's a good chance I might actually have to record and upload uh, streams to YouTube afterwards. I, I didn't bother to uh, record this one. But I'll have to record the future ones. All right, um, let me put that away. And I can finally take off this wet sw swimsuit now. Okay, and now that I am fully clothed once again, I am going to hop in my bed. Alrighty. So, let's go ahead. Let's head back to the office. Alright, so thank you everybody once again for tuning in to the Scarlet Derby streams. Once again, I remain the Scarlet Derby. I am the superhero of yesterday and star of multiple comic books and light novels. You will be able to find everything that I am a part of on my website, thescarletderby.com. I am also doing these streams on uh, Twitch, YouTube, and Facebook, and um, I am also. And so, um, uh, pretty soon, I'm going to be posting a link to my link tree, so you'll be able to find all of the social media that I am a part of. I'm a part of lots of different kinds of social media. I'm part of Instagram. I am also part of. Uh, TikTok, so, uh, you know, be sure to follow those sites too, and but and also, you know, in order to keep track of all of this, be sure to follow my Twitter, where I always post updates um, to anything that I am working on. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. Um, so, for those of you who are going to be watching on Twitch, I am going to be doing a raid now. Let's see. 
So let me head to the main Twitch page and let me see who am I going to be able to raid. Um, let me see. Assuming that I still can raid, I don't know if I've lost my ability to raid because I'm no longer an affiliate. You know, that's just how I'm going to have to manage things from now on, whether or not I am capable of doing something or not as a result of my being an affiliate. So let me see. I think I would like to pay a visit to... Um, let's go and let's see Timey Lives right now. They are playing RimWorld, which is a game I really don't even know anything about. But, you know, let's go and let's take a look at it. All right. So, set up the raid. So, thank you, everybody, once again for tuning in to the Scarlet Derby streams. I will be back here tomorrow evening, beginning at 7 p.m. Uh, Mountain Standard Time. And I um, haven't decided what I'm going to play yet. Let me see here. Um... There's a few games that I should introduce to you. Uh, Nick Ar All Star Brawl is one of them. I could also play Mario Party Superstars and or Spectacular Sparky. I'm um, I'll probably pick out one of those three games. Maybe I'll put a poll on Twitter in order to decide which one of those I would like to play. But at any rate, thank you everybody for tuning in. It has been a great return stream. Thank you everybody for. Uh, joining in, thank you very much to Mr. Crunchberry for the raid. You guys are all awesome. It is great to be back on Twitch and all of my other streaming channels. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in, and ta-ta until tomorrow.